Strawberry growers and those who are interested in growing them attended a strawberry field day at the Southwest Research and Extension Center near Hope. Participants learned about herbicide treatments in field production, as well as fertility and variety treatments within high tunnel systems, also known as hoop houses, which protect crops from wind and harmful weather. Amanda McWirt, a fruit and vegetable specialist for the Cooperative Extension Service, was pleased with the response. I think strawberry production and interest in, in growing more strawberries in Arkansas is definitely on the upswing. You know, people are interested in being able to go to the farmer's market and buy Arkansas grown products. While locally grown strawberries are not typically ripe and available until mid to late April, into early May, high tunnel production is allowing small scale operations to have ripe berries available much sooner. The high tunnel really gives you the advantage of being able to extend your season. So even if you only have a small number of acres, you can start growing on those acres for a longer period throughout the year. Um, so either you can start your spring crops earlier or you can keep your fall and summer crops going longer into the fall. This is not a typical year. Um, even out in the field, we already have people with green berries and we're at the first week of March. And generally we don't start picking until sometime in April. Um, and here in the tunnel, we have red ripe berries to pick right now. Um, and so this is an abnormal year, but uh, potentially, yeah, we could have a season that's starting at the beginning of March, if not in the end of uh, February uh, for, for strawberries and high tunnels in Arkansas. In addition to expanding the growing season, high tunnels provide numerous advantages over large scale field production. Protected culture like this, where we're keeping the rain off of our crops, has a lot of advantages, not just in season extension, but also in helping uh, avoid crop loss because berries are getting wet. That's a really big issue with strawberries, is if we get a hard rain when berries are ripe, we'll generally lose a big portion of that crop. And then also keeping the, the foliage dry to prevent a lot of diseases. So I think it's a good option for our growers here in Arkansas, where we get a lot of heavy rains in spring, uh, and we have intense disease pressure with our high humidity um, and then also just the advantage of being able to get to the market earlier.